Hey guys, this is Brandon, TK32917. Uh, I've had enough time now for the Monster Liner to cure on the Jeep. And uh, just for the people on the Jeep forum that are taking a look at Monster Liner and kind of kind of on the fence about using it, I just kind of want to give you my uh, rundown of it. So, um, really happy with how it turned out. The, the texture of it is very easy to get it really consistent and you don't have weird runs or lines or obvious places where your roller went. Um, it's because in these rollers, when you're rolling the material and you, you roll it across, it really wants to kind of pick that texture up and make it kind of gnarly. And then once it's set for a minute, it'll kind of, you know, the, the liquidy part of it will kind of make it settle and kind of, you know, rest in a kind of, kind of what it wants to do. And it really hides those lines because the material, it's not left exactly like you touched it with a roller. It's going to settle a little bit because of the liquid nature anyway. So it made it really, really, really easy. Um, I would recommend don't even think about using any of the rollers but the ones they sell. They're this very kind of specific hard foam. If you were to go and get like cloth type of rollers from Home Depot, you're going to ruin the whole thing. Seriously, just use their rollers and buy like three times more of them than like what comes in the kit. And the reason why is this, this foam, this stuff is so thick that as you're using it, these little pieces will start to tear off a little bit. And just as the roller wears, um, you will be left with little places like this. And you can see that's a little raised flake. That's a flake of the roller that dried in the thing. Um, so like I mentioned, it, you roll it over, the, the texture is a little bit gnarly to start with, and you left flakes in it, but then as it uh, settles, then the flake becomes obvious. So you don't really necessarily notice right when you roll it. You'll notice it after the fact. And uh, so it's good to have somebody with you, you know, that can, uh, that can watch for that. So change your rollers. If you start to see it flaking, stop. Throw the roller away because you'll just make yourself miserable. Um, I found that out in the inside. So I did the entire inside of mine with the Sands Panties Green. Uh, this was a full gallon for the interior tub. So I stripped the entire Jeep out, including the dash and everything. Um, full gallon for the inside. And um, we used every bit. And you can see right here, like I've got little places um, that I learned that lesson about the roller. And I actually took a razor blade and cut them off so they're not sharp anymore because they are friggin' sharp uh, when you leave the, the hardened flakes in here. Like here's some, I don't know if you can see them. So like right here, it's like a little razor blade sticking up. So anyway, buy way more rollers, change them off. And um, like I said, I did a full gallon of the green. It covers really, really well. Um, the tan also covered really well. And I did a full gallon of the tan just the entire outside of the Jeep minus this cowl and up and not the windshield. So just for the lower parts in the hood, it took every bit of the full gallon. So if you're going to do an entire Jeep, um, I don't think the gallon is quite enough for you. We also did a full gallon and a quart of the red. Now I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of red, but the red is really, really thin and it takes several, several, several coats to cover well. Uh, I made the mistake of taking a Sharpie and making some drawings on the Jeep as to where the lines were going to be, just so my friends knew when they were helping me where to stop, you know, with the tan. And it took like three to four coats on the red just to cover those Sharpie lines um, back up. So the red is, is substantially thinner, and that's why it didn't go uh, near as far. Um, um, so yeah, because the red had to cover so much it's very very thick and you'll see where my masking lines were there's a pretty good thickness um, differential there and uh, the lines masked really really sharp it was just that we had built up such a thick layer of stuff when we tried to peel it you know it's gonna kind of ooze and that's where a little bit of the imperfections in my line came up but uh, but overall I mean sheesh that it looks awesome from just a few feet away I mean you can't see the texture or or anything like that. Um, as far as how it dries, um, some people on the forum were asking, you know, would Monster Liner be good 
for the fender flares because you want them to be able to flex a little bit and that's not not gonna be a problem at all in fact i can show you an example here um, of the quart the extra quart i had of the red i let it sit out in the air and it dried for over a month and i cut this little piece out of the bottom this is the last of the red that i had and let me just show you here's here's what the stuff dries to right i know there's shadows but it is a like a solid rubber it is definitely not going to crack if you flex it right can you see that can you see this piece here that's raised and i can just it's it's more of a rubber in fact if i take the screwdriver here and if i just poke it in here it's very compliant so I definitely wouldn't worry about it cracking um, or even scratching, you know, from getting, you know, um, you know, from twigs or branches or whatever on a trail. I mean, I can't imagine uh, what you would prefer to that kind of, you know, rubber for, for durability. But anyway, um, yeah, really happy with it. Really happy with how it turned out. I would definitely do it this, this way again. Um, these vinyl decals stick to it no problem i had zero problem with the you know the hinges moving um because the stuff's kind of rubbery enough once it kind of starts to uh cure we just took a razor blade and just cut it around the hinge and then it had had no problem at all uh hood doors Let's see the, the hinges have no problem and uh same thing you know, with the hinges back here. Um, what else? Uh, I bought an entire box of earplugs uh, when I did it, and I rolled up the earplugs and I put them in all the threaded holes everywhere, all over the Jeep, roll cage, everything. And I would definitely recommend doing that um, just to not gum up the threaded holes for like your fender flares and all that kind of stuff. I use like a zillion uh, earplugs all over, but it worked out, worked out perfect. So, I'm trying to think if there's any other things to mention. Um, but like I said, yeah, as far as bed liners go, I've used, you know, Rhino Liner and a couple other ones before. Um, I would, the Monster Liner would be my go-to now for sure, just because of the material and its properties and the fact that you get all the colors uh, and it rolls so easy and gets a pretty pro, you know, consistency going. So yeah, if you got questions, hit me up. I know it sounds like a Monster Liner advertisement, but that's I'm just happy with it. So yeah, you guys enjoy.